our very last test with the Optimum 9400 and the Vitamix. Now the 9400 has long blades and it does have a wet dry jug so you only need one jug both wet and dry. The Vitamix does say that they have a wet jug and a dry jug. We are going to use the wet jug for this. The blades um, are slightly different inside, only the four blades in there but we're going to see the result that we've had. So in we throw about three quarters of a cup of flax seeds. We'll turn them on at exactly the same time on low to high and then off again and just see what result we get for both of the blenders. Are you ready Rory? So ready. I'm ready to rock and roll. Flick it on. Turn it up. And turn it off. So it doesn't take very long to grind flax seeds at all, does it? Mm, no. And uh, what we're going to do is have a look at the results. I'll pour them out onto the plate here. And look, flax seeds are flax seeds. They are easy to grind. I'm in a high speed blender, not so easy. All right. Well, not that we've been very good at decorating the plate with them, made a little bit of a mess, both of us. But let's have a little bit of a look through here. Neither of us want to try a dry spoonful of the flax seed, but I'm thinking the texture is pretty much the same. Mm actually there. So we probably could have blended for a teeny bit longer to get quite a smoother texture but still great and I think almost exactly the same. What do you think Rory? I'd say so. It's, it's, the, well, it's very difficult. Right, neither here nor there to the naked eye but we'll have a look up close underneath the camera and uh, we'll come back in a sec with the summary for you.